Hey, you done here? Okay, back with another live stream. I got all kinds of itches. <clears throat> okay, uh, well, mm, um, has been a few days. Had been feeling good, well, a little better today. And uh, I actually had a real sidetrack. Our air conditioner quit working. We got uh, someone to uh, put some Freon in it. Um, well, I mean, we got them to come look at it. They put some Freon in it. And... Uh, <clears throat> Anyway, I got to thinking, um, I used to work on air conditioners a little bit here and there over the years, so I find, for the first night, I didn't even, it was in the night, <clears throat> and I couldn't see that good out there anyway, but anyway, I forgot, I didn't uh, think about doing the soap bubble test uh, on the coils, that's where, where we figured, you know, that it was leaking at, and uh, <clears throat> it hadn't leaked a lot, but enough to freeze up, and so, uh, anyway, it's been working for at least two days, two days now, I think. But I, I went out there this evening before the, uh, I've been stuck on nights again, sleeping at nights, but I got up early, before, you know, early enough to get out there before the sun went down and uh, did a soap bubble test, and sure enough, it's leaking. And uh, anyway, during that time, um, <clears throat> my, uh, well, this phone, I had ended up had, I, I was make, trying to get a video of it, you know, I like to, you know, like to make videos of everything. So, um this phone decided it would freeze up. It, it does this, especially I was recording on open camera. It doesn't matter what app you're in, really, uh, when it does this. But uh, it will get into when you try. It's hard with my rubber bands. It's a little harder, but uh, to, you know, hit the menus. And I was trying to hit the menus and do stuff and uh, in open camera. And it goes into that close-up mode, like, you know, assistant, what do they call it? assistance something assistance you know mode <clears throat> and uh let me check my audio make sure it's good on my stream i can see my preview over there now um well i can't think of the right name but anyway um i have turned that off a hundred times in these phones i have three of these Alcatel 845ls and that's what i use for my cameras and that's pretty much all i use them for and uh <clears throat> anyway i've turned that off and turned it off and it comes back on and uh, <clears throat> thinking this, uh, how do you do that? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's actually better. I, yeah, I always like my chair to lean back, but in this case, it, uh, I need this set up so that I can be close to the mic. So that, yeah, that lets me set up without, you know, I was straining my back trying to keep leaned forward. Okay, so um, the. Um, <clears throat> It gets into that uh, close-up, super close-up mode, and at first you can move around and stuff, but but you can't get out of it. And uh, I've turned it off a hundred times because I can't. At first, I left it on. I thought it might be useful when I first got them, but then you got to do two fingers together in just the right way or something to get out of it. And I never would work for me, so I started just turning it off. Well, it'll. I swear I've even seen where it says it's off, but it still does this. So. It just occurred to me today, maybe I should <clears throat> turn it on and leave it on, and then maybe at least if I can remember the <laughs> or go look up the codes, get out of it, because it locks the whole phone up, and it's been like this for hours. You can't turn it off. Um, you can hold that button in all you want. It won't. Now watch it do it. But uh, and I've I've I, I wore myself out out there doing that. You know, I, I did it about five times. I'd wait for the air conditioner to cycle off and then do the test until it came back on and do the watch the bubbles and and trying to make a video trying to get a good video <clears throat> so anyway at least it was only 91 out there this evening but and it was shady by that time or else i couldn't have handled it but anyway um i um thought i would show this problem and what i end up having to do i have to take the battery out so i'm going to switch to let's see Let's go back to that first camera three. I was just had it like that for the intro. I'm gonna move it down to the table.
<clears throat> oh, that's a weird jumping down in my chair and having it still stand up straight. <clears throat> but it, yeah, that's helpful from what I'm doing. So anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I thought I'd get uh, a dual view going there. <clears throat> um, and uh, so anyway, I thought I'd show what I have to do. But also, the other one, this is camera. See, I, I label them yeah, camera two. So that's the one I keep on the... On, well, you can see the selfie stick there that I made. <laughs> it's actually part of my clothes tree. It's one of the hangers that it actually had, uh, yeah, it's split and it won't stay on there good. So it wasn't, it's not, that's why it's not on there. Well, actually the clothes tree has a broken leg now and it's out in the garage. But so anyway, I was able to put a really long screw in there and use it like that. This one is what I call phone two. And it is, um, I, I had it, I, had, I went, after that one locked up, I went and got it, and it was in the, my three-legged, my little metal tripod, three-legged tripod, they're all three-legged, <clears throat> that's why they call them tripods, um, and I've got it off right now, but I accidentally squirted it with a bottle of soapy water, I had it laying down on the air conditioner and getting a shot in there, and I was trying to hit those, I was looking at those coils trying to hit them, and I hit this, <laughs> and so it kept running and everything, but it, it, the video started kind of acting up. It kept zooming in and out all on its own, and I really don't remember seeing it do that. I don't know if that there's really a setting to auto zoom or anything, you know. And then when I tried to turn it off, it didn't want to turn off, so I left it setting, you know. It was it was in that tripod then, but I left it setting like that on a paper towel, and it did drain it quite a bit of. It got it fairly wet, <laughs> so it had water in it because <clears throat> I'm sure. See this. That was the side I was on, so that big old hole there for the, uh, I thought, well, it shouldn't get in, you know, at first I thought, well, it shouldn't be very, maybe a little moisture get in there, but I wasn't thinking about the the audio uh, input and output plug right there. <clears throat> so this end, of course, the charger, it has a pretty good size hole too, and the mic hole there, but it was, you know, like that, and the water hit, like, at it that way, so I imagine the Plenty of it got in there, so I'm going to take it apart, and I may, cl I may, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I think I forgot I bought this. Talked. I did a whole. I was doing a video talking about this stuff. This is the one I ordered. I don't know if I ever showed it. It does work a little better than the uh, red can. It's got a little more in it than just alcohol. Mostly all's in the, the other one was denatured uh, alcohol. Where's those? Even that that close, that's such tiny writing, just ridiculous. Well, anyway, I'm not going to try to show it right now because that's <clears throat> too big of a sidetrack. I thought it was on the front what's in it, but it's not. <clears throat> but that, I've used it on some other stuff, so I think uh, I'll look at it. I guess I should, well, I mean, I thing about the phones is I don't know what's in there that is made out of plastic. That The circuit board and all that should be, wouldn't hurt it, I don't believe, but any kind of plastic there i haven't seen it hard any plastic yet but i haven't played it I've squirted on a lot of different kinds either so anyway this is how i mount my <clears throat> i said one of these giant metal paper clips and of course i have it screwed down to my selfie stick it's really not for selfies it's to so that i can put it in my mic stand that mic clip the squeeze the kind that you, you squeeze you know not the normal kind of, they're not the holds too big for them in them but uh, you can see right here uh, goes in there like that and but the kind that you squeeze and and actually i put some rubber bands on it to make it stronger so that it'll really hold on to this so it won't fall out but to get it right down here on those two knobs and it, it actually holds it pretty good i've never knocked it out so far <clears throat> but anyway my rubber bands i've been doing this for a long time with my trip putting this on my tripods and stuff uh, but i'm you, you know i decided to start using my good my better tripod or better in a lot of ways for instead of for this i use it for my endoscope and that's what it's in right now so anyway this won't go off and hold it and hold it and hold it <clears throat> and uh <coughs> not telling the battery well it may not be it's probably not using any more battery than normal but uh let's see how am i gonna well it's really pretty simple, but it's kind of a pain. It's kind of a pain to get it back in there. <coughs> but you just, the way I have it, 
you can just slide your rubber bands off the bottom and top. And uh, normally I take the this loose. On the other tripod, I can just hook it. I don't have to. It's kind of really tied in by this big twisty thing. This is one of those comes on my coffee. Works pretty darn good for that too. And I can get it out of there. But let's see if I can get this phone out of here without doing that because it'd be easier to. <clears throat> I'd rather you know it'd just be easier I think overall if I don't have to do that. So usually I don't slide them out. I just take them out. But yeah, there we go. So then it's a mess of wadded up uh, rubber bands to try and figure out how to put back together, but it's not too hard, really. And, uh, <coughs> okay, put that off to the side. <coughs> now, <coughs> yeah, I've got my, uh have to hold it really crooked to me for it to be straight in that screen, but I've learned to just let that, that, endoscope camera go it twists and turns it's on that long cable let it go where it wants to and then work around that but um yeah i want to make sure i don't know where my buttons are and everything i don't like to run my screwdriver along the buttons you could damage them but anyway just give that small screwdriver that's not very sharp and and see this one i'm doing it in order to get it to turn off and the only way ever been able to get them to turn off this is not the one that got wet is to take the battery out so uh, there we go I was thinking I don't know if I don't I mean I'm sure the battery hadn't gone down that much it was at about 82 percent I actually had uh, forgotten left it on overnight because I was trying to let it upload a different video letting Google folk go I'll let them when I do vote videos just on the phone, not streaming, then I uh, let Google Photos upload them. Then I transfer them from there to uh, YouTube if I want, if I decide I want to. <clears throat> but um, so uh, I don't know why. It, well, I don't know why it gets it locked up like that. But uh, let's see what is on there. Yeah, this is what the phone is. They're actually pretty good. Uh, a forty-five L's. Other than those kind of uh, aggravating things, they uh, got good. I th you know, they like I can. <clears throat> uh, I don't know about I don't I don't have phone service on any of them. I don't know about that. But as far as using them for cameras, I mean they're not the highest resolution in nowadays. You know, they're but they're better than anything I've had uh, along. Well, the only thing I ever had that was maybe better, in, in a, well, better as a camera, I had a real, back in the late 90s, I got a <clears throat> Sony BVP3 uh, professional camera. It was a tube camera, but in, when it was new in the late 80s, early 90s, it was $10,000 to go buy one, so it was a good camera. <clears throat> but it was 750 lines of resolution, and I just happened to see some camera the other day online I was looking at it, and it was 500 lines of resolution. It was a few years old. And I thought, yeah, that was pretty good then. And, of course, it was 1.3 aspect ratio, but they, it was a television camera, you know. I mean, you could either put it on your shoulder and carry it around or you could put it on a tripod. It's good. I mean, nowadays you'd consider it a big old heavy camera, but it, back then it was really really a fairly lightweight camera for a professional camera. <clears throat> but, I mean, back when it was first made. But, um, anyway, I ended up selling it but later. But... Uh, so since then, that was I sold it in 2000. I remember that because that's, uh, well, I just remember that, um, and uh, and I bought it for 350 dollars at an auction and, and sold it for 1500 dollars. So it was that was all right. I just, but I still miss it. I still wish I had it. it had a great, you know, had a really good lens on it. Uh, so anyway, you know, these of course have the little plastic lenses, fixed focus, and all that. No, no optical zoom. Uh, but so they do pretty well. Five mega. Let's see. Actually, the, the they'll take a picture at five megapixels, but the video is only like two megapixels. So, uh, but I can you know I, you but they will do 1080p, but I can only do 720p when I'm streaming over the Wi-Fi because I get too much, uh, well like lose too many frames. So anyway, since I never I'm always talking to you know I'm always using them, I'm always talking about them. Oh, but like say. Uh, <clears throat> 
Well, now I have to keep them plugged in to stream from them, or they'll run down in about 10 or 15, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, I can get 20, 30 minutes if I'm just recording video straight to them out of them. So, yeah, if they're not plugged in, I think 20, probably around 20, 25 minutes is most I've ever got out of them. Usually I always just keep them plugged in because I don't, I usually always do longer than that. And um, they, uh, I don't know about, well, in the, well, that day, the first day that it was 105 here a couple of weeks ago here in North Texas, I was outside in the garage, like, I got out there at seven in the morning and it wasn't bad. And then it got, I didn't, I knew it was getting hot, but, but I hadn't looked at the temperature. I'd have probably just went in. But anyway, somewhere between 97 and 105, uh, this camera shut down. It got hot and shut down and I was streaming it and I had it plugged in. Uh, <clears throat> so I don't know what the, <laughs> what temperature it shut down at, but it don't run. It, it, I think I've done it before at around a hundred. Uh, I don't know. A couple of years ago, I, I was out there working on my truck when it was 102. I remember that. <clears throat> and But I was in the shade, of course. But uh, And I was in the garage that day. It couldn't have been uh, even in front of a fan, sitting in front of a fan. And I was still, the fan felt like a heater blowing on me, of course. <clears throat> but uh, there's the battery. But anyway, like for the audio, when I'm just streaming the audio, I can have it off charger, you know, streaming the audio. I do it all the time uh if it's it's you know like 99 100 percent when i start and it'll get down about 80 percent by the time i'm done if i go three or four hours um <clears throat> i remember one day i was like making videos on and off all day and i ever did think about plugging it in and it only got down to like 60 something percent but anyway uh all I, you know identical batteries and everything but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, of course, I got it flipped the wrong way, but it doesn't matter because it'll only go in one way. <sighs> now, let's see. And I've got, these are my SD cards right there. There's, I've got 64, Neustronium 64 gigs in phone one and two, and the phone three only has a 32 gig. Win, it's a WinTech. <laughs> but, um, Now let's not wipe it out the cover. I see that it has a little. Oh no, that's. I thought it was dirty sitting down there looking at it. It's not dirt. That's. I thought that was. I thought why is it so dirty? That's the other button. So yeah, don't try to wipe the buttons out of it. I will kind of dust it out a little bit. Actually, I'm just gonna blow any dust out of it. If there's any in there, but. Uh, Let's turn it on. Make sure, it should. I mean, it should. No, let's put it back together. It, it. You always risk the battery falling out when you. And it's best to. Yeah, I try to get the side with the buttons in first, and then put it together. It has a. I, I noticed. I didn't think a whole lot about it. I mean, I drop them badly <laughs> as it is. If when I'm just trying to hold them, but it has a rubber cover that's not really too awful slippery. I mean, what. Can, can be a little bit, but it's way better than some of the other ones I've, I've seen that other people have as far as being slippery. I mean, you can't hold on to them for nothing. They slide off a level surface. <clears throat> but, oh, yeah, I can use I think I'm going to grab my magnifying glass. Got to watch out and make sure you get those all the way shut. See, I'm using my preview. See, I can use, I'm sitting right in front of my, got my table right in front of my computer so I can look straight at my preview because <clears throat> I wanted to be able to see the other one now, now, now I don't need it right now I mean uh, well I can put it back in the tripod though <clears throat> yeah so it should be fine and I've done this on you know and it always happens you know doesn't happen real often just happens right when it's the most aggravating when you're <laughs> outside making a video and you, everything's kind of awkward and can't see good, can't, you know, it's hot or whatever. But, um, they're all, well, you know what, it seems, I guess, I think they take a long, when you do that, I think they take a longer to boot up. That phone three is really slow at booting up. This one usually seems faster than that. 
Maybe it's phone one. I don't know why one would be faster than the other. It's only down to 75%. So, uh, and some of this stuff will pop up for I don't know why. And, I, you know, sometimes, but not always. What's that? Google settings. Yeah. They Each one has some odd things that the software does that the other ones don't do. Um. Well, now this one may be doing it. I'm just fixing to say the other one. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is phone two. It's never done that. It's not going. It's not going home. Oh, it went home. Okay, it just took a while. Um, yeah, maybe he's still recovering from getting locked up and and hard, you know, hard shut down basically by pulling the battery, pulling the power. Uh, phone three won't go home. No matter. I don't know how, how many times I've set it to go home, it won't go home. Um. Here's the IP webcam app that I'm always using. It's what I'm streaming from right now on cam, the the wide, the bigger view, wide angle view there. The close-up view is my in, USB endoscope cam. But <clears throat> oh yeah, I set it to do. You can do record video to the phone. I'm not sure if it worked. Let's see. Oh, it went back. It didn't save the settings at 720 by 480 because I put it up at a higher resolution. Or was that the other one? I think I might have done that on the other one, not this one. Yeah, because this one locked up in open camera. I never. So I tried to. Yeah, you know, the other one's one I need to check the settings in. So anyway, you can. Uh, what I do with them is I turn. I have actually figured out over time. I turn the audio off on these. The reason I was doing that is so I could use, well, not this one, but the other, the third, the one I'm filming on right now as the, just an audio Wi-Fi mic, you know, I use it as a Wi-Fi mic. And these are Wi-Fi cameras, and I turn the audio off because you get a horrible echo, <clears throat> you know, there's, there's going to be d delay, there's there's delay between each source that's different, you know, I mean, each one is going to arrive back at the computer and through the Wi-Fi at a different time. And on top of that, if I have this mic going, then you're all three, you know, everything would be different. So you can't use more than one source at a time. But, uh, <clears throat> so I'm just going to turn it off now and put it back in the, I think it, and it does that. You, I, I was looking right there. Now, maybe if I see it back on the video, I swear I hit the right spot, but it, I think it just rebooted because I saw the yellow mark go to reboot and not on shutdown. The yellow highlight. <clears throat> So, but you anything it's going to reboot. Especially does that maybe it maybe it's just something about you know the width of your thumb. It does it to me most of all when I use my thumb. If I use my finger, it doesn't do that. It looks like it's, it's booting back up again. <coughs> yep, there it went. <coughs> But um, I don't know if that's a common thing or not what with, you know, phones and, you know, and Android or this is Android. I uh, forgot. Oh, it did it again. Now, that was not me that time. Maybe I'm seeing it. You know, I've got it laying down here for the video. Maybe I'm seeing it wrong. Man, that's me. Hack me off. <coughs> They are pretty dependable. Uh, just if you, all you do is just turn the camera or camera app on and off, or the open camera app, the one I use all the time. I mean the IP webcam. But if you um, <clears throat> use the software a lot, then it, there's a lot of aggravation to me. And for one thing, it's a small screen, and it I can't even read half of it without a magnifying glass. The other thing is, and actually the touch on this I think is great really responsive because my mom has a well she has two tablets now because my sister got her one and then then a couple of years later i got her one a 10 inch tablet she got her those uh, amazon tablets you know and uh and there that touch on that is i think it's horrible uh and it just drives me nuts trying to use that thing especially after i got used to these especially and now it's doing something all that other stuff that stuff that wants to pop up. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to lean it up to myself, so maybe... Okay, and I was really, really careful not to let my finger get anywhere near this, the second one. The second one is Rubu. Now, that time it hit, it worked. <clears throat> but I, I do have, uh, have I, I usually have trouble with, with that on the uh, phone three that I, but I keep it normally I keep it in my little bag that you wear on your on your what you know with the strap around your waist that I, and then I have my lapel mic coming up on my shirt and I don't like to take it out of the bag just to turn it on and off or and all that stuff so usually I hit the wrong thing <clears throat> because of that that's what I thought but <laughs> that happened. Well, I don't know why that just happened, really. Anyway, let's see if I can slide this back in here. See, it's easier to have stuff out of the way. These, it's surprisingly, uh, works surprisingly well doing this, you know, using these rubber bands, and they even have an added benefit that I would have not have thought of. Uh, first time I knocked this one of these off the, it was on the trip on the metal tripod first time i knocked one of these off of my workbench outside i tried to grab it and so i ended up you know i was focusing on it really trying to grab it with my eyes that's what i'm saying <clears throat> and uh missed it and uh but i saw it hit the ground and i saw this whole mechanism flex and i saw you know the phone go kind of sideways and I realized that just absorbed a bunch of the shock that otherwise would have, you know, been taken up by the phone. And so, uh, of course, I know they're made that they can can be dropped a certain amount, but it did knock the he I mean, it got, it, it, I hit it hard with a tool I had in my hand or something. Uh it really went flying, <clears throat> but uh, I think that if I put the bottom ones on, well, I, I just got through taking the other phone off of the regular tripod over there and putting that phone three on it, and I, whoops, they get old, the rubber bands get old, and they break. It's funny. What's really funny is they, these rubber bands that I'm using, somebody gave them to me, uh, back in 1993 or four, bag of them. <laughs> it was supposed to be kind of a joke. Uh, my, f I had a, well, me, uh, my friend and my room, I, I lived with my roommate. He, we actually lived in an apartment and then he wanted to buy a house and he wanted me to stay his roommate. And so I did for a while. And it's like, uh, kind of backwards. I did everything backwards. I got married when I was 18, raised three kids, and then ended up doing things like that. But uh, after I got divorced in 89. But uh, anyway, uh, this girl I knew, uh, she, she, well, yeah, she was the one that said, we need to throw you a housewoman party. I said, oh, okay, you know. And so we, we did. We invited the people we knew over. And she brought two things. She brought bagger. She says, every house needs rubber bands. And then she brought <laughs> a whole bag full of water guns to have a water gun fight. <laughs> and we got a little too excited about all that, and we started running around the house. That's, and my friend was really quiet, never grabbed or anything. But he said, hey, you're getting the floor wet. <laughs> so I knew, okay, or you're getting carpet wet or whatever, yeah. And so I knew, I said, hold up, we got to quit. Because... <laughs> If he's going to gripe about something, he, he means it, you know, because he never griped about anything. <laughs> but uh, let's see if I can get this. Okay. Yeah. If I work this right, since I didn't unattach the red ones, it's already got to kind of make sure it ends up staying centered. Actually, yeah, or close to centered. I like it better when they're... Um, I'm talking about centered on this here, but it's, it's better really if it's not exactly centered because the weight, when I have it plugged in, the it wants to pull it sideways like that. See, that 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 metal gives, and so does the uh, rubber bands. So anyway, you've got to kind of counteract for that. 
you don't want it exactly centered. It depends on how strong your rubber bands are, too, as to whether or not it'll start uh, leaning on you. I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want it. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. It kind of depends on how much play you got in your pe giant paper clip, too. Seems that I need to there. I'm gonna try to do them like in or in a back and forth order. But you know, if you had it, you might if you've. It actually took me some real figuring to figure out how to get this to work. Now maybe you've done this a lot and you think it, you know think that's really simple, but. Uh, Get these rubber bands to hold it good and attach to that thing in a good way. Took some spiggering for me, so figure it might not be a bad idea to kind of show this. And getting it on and off is also getting it on and off is the thing that, like when you have to take it off. Of course, I try to just leave them on there, not take them off, because you can see it's a little fiddly and it's not. It's not a 30 second thing to me getting them on and off so it's a little more than that but uh, and you got to be careful about what you cover the uh, like on this one of course it's going to be different on each phone but luckily mine are all the same one but you don't want to cover that light sensor for the uh, screen or it'll start doing crazy things unless of course you turn it I like it to be on auto it's better uses less battery overall and then actually i finally figured it out you can you can actually touch the rubber bands on most menus and it'll still work uh not always it's kind of fiddly and so and like the that's the back and the home and the uh, uh settings menu and then of course you don't want to cover your your the these rubber bands are not real strong, so they can actually set on the... I like them not to really be... Look, right now, they're not on the power button. But in the past, I've had some pretty strong rubber bands on them, and they'll hold the power button in, and that causes some wacky things, of course. And so, anyway, it actually works. Uh, I already had... Now, these clips are really not cheap, these metal... But I already had them for years and years. I didn't mean to buy such big ones. I thought I was buying like a... Some, the neck size up from those ones that are about a half inch wide <laughs> and I was buying these giant ones and uh, <clears throat> so I had them for years and really never had a use for them I really never had a wad of paper that needed that big of a paper clip look at that thing I mean it's pretty cool it's so it's more of a bracket <laughs> and a hinge than it is a paper clip I mean if you had a lot of big thick paper it'd be great and you needed that but uh, oh, I forgot my preview was playing over there. I guess I better pause it for that thing wears out. <clears throat> okay, so um, got this one back on the thing. But yeah, I can hold this up and uh, get off of that endoscope now. I can hold this up and. I'm not. I, I've never have gotten to where I'm very good at. Uh, it's just harder. I used to be good at running camera and staying steady, but that's all you're doing, you know. Uh, especially when you're using a camera that weighs like 25 pounds. But uh, I ran camera on cable TV shows and stuff. I mean, I've done it. But with a phone, I, I always thought people were so terrible at using their phone cameras until I got one myself. But, I never had a, one of these kind of phones, a smartphone as they call them, until about three or four years ago when I got all these. And uh, <clears throat> I've, you know, when you're trying to do things with your other hand, for one thing, you usually always need both hands. But the other thing is I just forget to pay attention to where, even though the screen's big enough. It, the bad thing about them is the screens are big enough. They're bigger than any other screen I ever used. I had to use an eyepiece, not a screen, you know. But uh, these are four inch. <clears throat> but uh, when you, if you go out in the house, well, even in the house, if you're at a certain, you know, you change angles, then what you see, you can't see how to, 
you can't see if what if what you're trying to show is showing up. Uh, you can't even see if you're on it or not half the time. So, um, oh yeah, let me get that. Speaking of that, I get this turned on, and uh, yeah, this is the one I just got going. I want to get it turned on so that I can let it start uh, uploading the, that video or two. That I don't remember if I did one or two. <clears throat> let it start automatically uploading it to Google Photos. Well, seems like something else about Google Photos. Seems like if you just have your phone on. Oh, that's smart. Uh, if you just have your phone on, <clears throat> if you come to my house, I have to change my phone code. Okay, because <clears throat> I just showed it to you. If you, uh, um, if you just turn it on and let it run, and eventually it will usually usually upload whatever videos you did to fo Google Photos. But seems like, uh, but maybe maybe not within an eight hour or more period. But if you open the app, it kind of it'll start doing it usually immediately. If it doesn't, then sometimes it doesn't. I've, in the past, I've had it not work, and I had to uh, go tell it to manually. I've had to f just I don't care. I waited. I tried to get it to do it for days because I thought, well, if I make sure everything's set right, it should do it. Uh, or just open the. What I'm going to say is open the app and leave it on for a little while. Make sure it gets started uploading then you can well what i've been doing lately to make darn sure it works is to minimize it and not not shut the app down not cl close it all together okay but there's something going on here <clears throat> it doesn't look like it's going to open up all the way um maybe it's because i can't see the screen no there's, what it's been doing is every time i open it for a while now for a week or two it's uh, it just keeps saying uh, that way I can see everything that's on the screen. Oh, good. Oh, I bet all the settings went back to. It, I always set it to. Come on. Don't tell me the thing locked up or something. It doesn't usually do that. Unless my rubber band is pressing on the power button. It's not even on it, is it? No, it's not on it. I don't know why. I think it went to sleep after. It's probably set on 15 seconds. It The lights came on on the down at the bottom for a second there. And this is not the one that I got wet. Yeah, it's not. Is it? Is it? <laughs> okay, now the lights came on. But nobody's home. Well, sometimes once you when you've had to reset it like that, you just have to. Don't tell me it locked up again. It doesn't want to show the reboot or anything. I thought it was fine, so I went to all the trouble to put it back in my little deal. Now it's not responding. What I'm doing, I don't, I've got this too low. Here, let me do that. Now it'll be too high. But, uh, what I was doing is, uh, holding in the power button, trying to get it to wake up or do something, go to sleep, go shut down or anything, you know. If I have to take the battery out again, I'm going to be pissed. Whoops. All the rubber bands are rolling off. Yeah, since these corners are really round, they'll roll off on you. Oh, there we go. Now it's doing something. What is it doing? Look at that. I've never seen it do that before, ever. I sure hope it's not messed up. Yeah, it's not the one that I got wet. <coughs> never got one wet before. Now look at that. I've never seen it like that before, ever. Let's see if I can shut it down. I'm going to just power it off. There. Now the screen went back to full screen. I may have seen it. You know, I said I don't know if I just said I've never seen it do that before, but maybe I have, and I forgot. Yeah, I think maybe I have. So, <clears throat> shut it down. Turn it back on one more time. 
<coughs> now, with the, if, if your rubber bands are holding in the power button, it'll make it do some weird things. <coughs> but, uh, okay, it went off. It vibrates when it goes off, so I know it helps me to know it. And whenever I turn it on, it's actually pretty helpful. I don't know if I turned that on or if it was defaulted that way, but. Okay, that sure did boot up fast. Well, didn't seem like it was all the way off, did it? All right, let's see if photos will open up this time. Yeah, it's opened up just fine. Okay. Yeah, it keeps asking me, do I want to uh, update? Uh, but it's uh, these phones are uh, uh, maybe the settings got jacked up, but it's supposed to update automatically. Anyway, in the background. So that's getting to aggravate me. I have, you know, I've been, I've been trying to work on computers and do all this stuff, and I don't want to fool around with manually doing anything on these things. So, uh, I was like, "What search wedding?" Okay, so it's, uh, well, I didn't think the uploads were happening while it, it's been on all afternoon, but I looked in my Google Photos before I started this video, and I didn't see any. I saw one new video. Now it's saying today seven. Let's just say seven. Let's see. The one that was wet was off. I, I, it, for a while it wouldn't turn off, and then it finally did. But anyway, backing up, so it's working now. So instead of letting it stay like that, I usually uh, just hit the home button, and it'll minimize the app and not not close it. I guess that's normal for. Well, I thought it did. Anyway, I've done it recently, and it worked fine. It didn't uh, stop the... All of a sudden, now the light's getting in there, messing things up. Didn't stop the... Uh, and the light, not the light on this. It's the light from the ceiling. When I was in closer, it worked better. I tried to get... Well, that's kind of where I had it before, I guess. I'm like trying to get it straight on so that if I do want to show the text, it's, you know, readable. Okay, so yes, I signed in. View activity. Well, it's not showing photos. That's what I thought it would show it. Just to make sure it's going to be uploading stuff, I'm going to open that window and leave it open. Because I want those uploaded. That's my whole goal. Yeah, and sometimes maybe this is the one. So it's not responding. I sure hope it's not getting. Of course, you got to be more patient sometimes. But I get pissed. Look at that. Would you believe that that actually made it work? Of course, it also opened up something else. Oh, it it opened up the picture. It says one now. But it's got the little thing blinking, so I guess it's uploading. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to plug this into my charger back here and uh, grab the other one. <clears throat> okay, now. This one is the one that I have some worries about because it got wet. Never got one of these wet before. I have this paper towel ready. In case it needs, actually, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll just set it on it. Double it in half. I think it'll have more soaking power. Uh, there shouldn't really be. See, I made sure and I left it like that for. Ended up being two, three or four hours. Uh, so that. Well, actually, I left it the other way so that, you know, the water could uh, run out of that hole. Because it was acting a little funny. <clears throat> uh, I really, at first, like I said, I thought, well, I don't think anything would have. Much would have got in it, you know. Just a little moisture, but not actual water. And uh, 
So yeah, that's what made it act crazy. It was a direct hole right into the not only the case but to the inside. So you go into the audio connector there. So it's not soaked at least. <clears throat> and I did at first it wouldn't turn off when I when I did bring you know not long didn't take me long to get in the house and I tried to turn it off out there and I, it wouldn't turn off. So uh, I brought it. I, I brought it in and then I thought, well, I need to. I realized, oh, I need to prop it up and make sure if there's any water in it, it can drain out. So I did. And so <clears throat> then I finally got it to work and turn it off. So I did that. Of course, they're not completely off, and it really wasn't. Honestly, haven't been careful enough. I've turned it. You know, really, I shouldn't have ever turned it this way and that way. I should have always kept it in a draining position. And I th- and, and and I figured the end that it came in is the way you want it to come out. You don't want to. I thought about turning it the other way for good measure. And I thought, no, that'll make whatever. If there is any in there, it'll run back through there. So anyway, um, get the battery out, and uh, I can't get the batteries out with them turned sideways. There we go. I couldn't find the place to put my thumb now. Okay, yeah. There's water all under the battery. It got soaked. Sure did. Ooh. Okay, so... Uh, I did, Like I said, I did get it turned off. So it was been off, but it has been... Uh, and I know the people get their phones wet sometimes. And once they let them dry out, they're okay. And I've seen... Actually, I got some old computers that had been rained on and outside for, for several days on a trailer, and uh, they got a little rust on some of the some of the metal, but they worked perfectly once they were dried out. And the fellow that get, he gave them to me, he would buy auction computers, you know, bunches of computers at auctions, and uh, he would take the ones that he thought were good and he'd fix them up and sell them. And then the old, well, ones he gave me, he didn't weren't worth any money to him. He just wanted to get rid of them. <coughs> I could have had a trailer load, but it only took about four or three or something. <clears throat> but uh, still wish to this day. I had my van. I, it was empty, and I could have went and got my van and filled that van up. <coughs> I was hoping. I doubt I could have made any money out of them, though they were too old. But I was wanting to. He he was doing Windows XP. This was years ago, and that was still the main oper, you know Windows operating system that everybody used. <coughs> I was all into Linux, and I knew that you could make the older ones run great on Linux. And, uh, but I doubt if I'd have spent a day or two or three on each one, if <clears throat> set them up, if I could have got you know fifty bucks out of them, <coughs> I figured I'd be lucky to get twenty five bucks out of them. <coughs> but uh, anyway, um. And I've heard of, and I've heard people. Usually, I haven't really paid a lot of attention, like looking it up online and stuff. Uh, but I've seen, I've heard, I've seen uh, in TV shows and stuff. I don't know where did I see it. I don't know. I guess it was just people doing like I'm doing, mentioning it kind of on the side of a whatever video they were doing. That oh, I dropped find it, dropped it in the water and when dried it out, and but it was okay after that, you know. It feels damp on the front, and that paper towel's not damp there. Now, if it gets all inside of something like the screen and uh, can't get out, but that's what that kind of spray is good for. <clears throat> but uh, never taken one of these apart, never really wanted to. But let's, uh, if there's water under everything, you you really ought to take everything apart that you can. If you're going to dry something out. So, yeah, this is my Strontium. These have been really good cards. And the really cool thing about them is they come with a full-size SD card adapter and a USB adapter. And that's what I use all the time. This is this Strontium, and these were 15 bucks. Now they went up after that. They were on a sale on Amazon, and this was two or three years ago now when I got them. Here's one in the floor. I think it went in my shoe. No. When you drop something in the floor, right by the legs of your chair, where does it go? 
I already rolled back. Let me make sure I didn't roll over. I can't see it. Now, you wouldn't think a big, uh, you know, nice soft carpet <clears throat> with light color would be able to, hard to find something of that black and yellow, but I can't see it. Uh, it must have bounced. It's not a ball, but it bounced somewhere. Um, but I need to find it. I'm going to make darn sure I don't pick up and get my chair rolled all the way out. It could be rolling all over. Got it. Okay. It aggravates me because I constantly drop things. My hands don't work good anymore. It gets so frustrating <clears throat> dropping everything. But, uh, Anyway, I was just trying to show, got tape over it to, to uh, they tend to want to slide out just a little bit and lose connection. Well, these do. Uh, the Strontium brand stay in there pretty good, but this is actually, when I use it in all times, a 32 gigabyte Wintech, and it's a lot looser in there. That actually came with my Strontium SD card, and they also came with um, it's upside down and they all they, either one of these brands have been good cards I haven't had lots of trouble with them like uh, I don't know if any of them have actually ever you know gotten a corrupted file system or anything had a lot of trouble with that with the one that came with my Raspberry Pi it was a regular full size and it was one that they had branded for the Raspberry Pi the, so I don't know what brand it was. I don't look at brands. I look at reviews because a lot of this stuff's made in the same factory with a different sticker on it, you know. <clears throat> so uh, anyway, that cover I just put on there to keep dirt and stuff out of it, you know. It's really a, a cable, HDMI or USB cable uh, cover that came with a new cable. But I just put that tape on there <clears throat> in a way so that I can peel it on and off to keep that thing from sliding out a little bit and losing connection but uh, yeah these kind of things I guess are kind of so small they're kind of hard for anybody to hang on to most people I would I kind of bet kind of almost looks like it has a crack scratch or something I hardly ever open these up or anything so <clears throat> kind of surprised to see put that up there I don't know where's the best place wherever I put them I'm afraid I'm gonna <laughs> knock them off and lose them I don't think I want it up there because I moved my <clears throat> how about if I put it up here on the desk in front of my yeah that way I'll I don't want them falling in the key. I can just see them falling in the keyboard in between the keys. And of course the uh cert, you know the the uh, SIM card 
Uh, like I said, I don't have them activated, but the SIM card, I'm going to take it out because if I can get it to come out. It may be kind of sticking because it's might be water under there. I don't know. Let's see. There was. It doesn't seem like it's wet. Maybe it actually was a little. Maybe a little dampness down there on that end, though. <clears throat> so we'll put that somewhere. That's their contacts are completely in a different place. Okay. Now. Yeah, they, that, that whole battery tray was damp. So that tells me that enough water got in there. And that's after me draining it for a long time. Enough water got in there that it's... See, there's places for it to, to get to. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and switch to just the endoscope for a bit places for it to get to right there where you see those little that looks like a can't tell for sure how much of that's open <coughs> but uh, this is actually helping me because now see now where those contacts are for the battery there's some openings there so water goes every water goes everywhere it's <coughs> once it gets you know if you get something wet it goes everywhere so for it to have, and the thing is, is it had most, most of it's going to have entered, which way is which? Yeah, there's the charging port. Now, I mean, I, I just think that it probably didn't get a, much of it all in the charging port because it was like this. <clears throat> no, it was like that. Okay, that's why it was, so most of the, I, th I think the water mostly entered through that. That's an eighth inch though, sort hole there. And so that means it got down underneath everything too. So, battery's, you know, all dry now <clears throat> after sitting there. There's a little bit of something that's kind of, yeah, a little bit of that paper sticker. Huh. Can't see that good enough to see what's going on with that. It's coming off. It's tape. It's like a, it's just a sticker, really. Kind of like tape. Can't. Well, that don't think that has a thing to do with the water. I think that's just coming loose from warmth, you know, over time. But it was kind of boogered up down at this end. <clears throat> I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be a seal or could be that it's actually there to try to kind of keep things out. So I kind of hate for it to come off. Started to just yank it off. Oh, it's loose. Take it off. But it might actually be useful. Especially say if what just happened happened. You got water in there. It looks like it's just down in that groove and doesn't really do anything. The groove doesn't look like it has any holes in it. It doesn't. <clears throat> down at the other end, I don't know, but since it hasn't really come loose all the way down, I'm going to leave it could be that it helps keep it tight in there so i'm gonna leave it a little piece of it broke off <clears throat> i don't know why i don't like i said i don't open them and close them a lot and i don't think well the water could i mean there could have been enough it's not wet right now but it could have been some water in that area to <clears throat> cause it to want to So I've got some little bitty 
Schuler screwdrivers or computer screwdrivers, whatever you want to call them. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I don't know. I've never tried to take one of these apart. I don't think these things are magnetic though. That one is. Okay. Finger gets in the way of the picture, but <coughs> now I'm not really close enough to have the magnifier help me see that stuff good, but I could get closer. I was getting out far enough to get a good view for the camera. I think I want to try getting closer. Let's see, how can I do that? Let's see. I've pulled out a lot of uh, Yeah, I, th I think that may even help me, so pulled out a lot of uh cable on my on my endoscope cam to get it in position. <clears throat> Certainly never planned on taking one of these apart, but I don't like working on tiny stuff at all anymore because I just can't see and I can't hold on to anything. <coughs> and I have to get off the camera to do that. Go ahead and break the other one loose too. I got that one broke loose. Let's see. It's kind of good to be able to see where it is to get the screwdriver in it, and then <laughs> without fighting the camera to get it loose is not very productive. So. If I used those little things a lot, I'd magnetize them, but I hardly ever use these. Might be worth it, though. I thought I had that. Oh, I don't have it in the screw hole. There we go. See? I think it's, yeah, I think it's pretty well unscrewed there. Thought it was. Okay, what else we got? I thought there was another one down there. I think it'll split right in half as soon as you get, oh, there's three of them, all three of those done. I think I'll switch to a double view because... Nothing worse than, I mean, I don't want to bang into that camera and everything, so I think it's worse to have a close-up that moves around like that than it is to have a wide angle and a, at least you can look away at the overall view. I hope those aren't all different links, because I have not really been paying attention. Should have. Could be a problem for me. But I'm afraid that this could be, um, uh, that water will not dry out very quickly, you know, just leave, if you just leave it. And don't take it apart or anything at all. And it could roll around in there, and it could end up shorting out something that's very delicate, you know, and ruining the phone. <sighs> I really...
probably shouldn't have moved it around as much as I did. better to <clears throat> I think I'll take it off the paper towel because it's just one more thing to deal with <clears throat> now let's see if I see any more screws that I missed four up there three across the bottom I think that's it I'll show you the <clears throat> I'll look at them while I'm thinking about it yeah they had a little bit of uh locked hat on them <coughs> I don't think they're <coughs> excuse me <coughs> different links no uh -uh, I don't think so <coughs> <coughs> Well, I think I'm going to put my paper towel back because the main reason I had it there was really to soak up any water that I might get into. Whoops. Let me turn it more straight on. <sighs> Yeah, because I want to be able to turn it up and see the edge. See where it's supposed to come apart. Oh, okay. I do not know. I've seen a few videos where they took some folds apart. I watched one where there's some guy that lived in China. It's an American guy, but he lived in China. Well, he might, you know what? Maybe he was English or something. But anyway, he lived in China. He worked there. <clears throat> and he decided he wanted to build his own iPhone by going to the parts store and buying parts. And he worked it out. He didn't really. He didn't know just a little bit of uh, Chinese, so he had to have people kind of interpret for him half the time. So he really was a go-getter. I mean, he <laughs> and uh, he got it. Got all the parts to put one together. I always thought, though, okay, so what are you going to do for the operating system? Because that's all proprietary. You can't just. Uh, I'm sure it's just like Windows, you know. It's it's tied to the processor or something like that, or and uh, so I don't know. Or maybe it's not because he he booted it up and it worked. He didn't say anything about that. He didn't say if he. Since he didn't say anything about it, I kind of figured he did some sort of backdoor thing. Because. Uh, <clears throat> He didn't say, oh, I had to buy a license, or I don't think they'd sell you one like that. Um, like for Microsoft, back back in Windows XP when it was brand new, I built me a machine with XP and bought XP, you know, Pro, and I had to sign up to be a Microsoft system builder and sign an agreement that I would support my systems I built for five years. And I thought, at first I was like, What? Then I oh, well, I'm only going to build this for me. So, yeah, I guess I'll be the one supporting it for the next five years. <laughs> so I can't see good enough to see what that is. I see that little slot. I thought, is that a slot for opening? Like, Actually, it's not. Let's go ahead and get this main close-up again because my preview is a little small <clears throat> now for me to... Not not big enough for me to see what's going on. Okay, yeah, those little slots are not to help you pry it apart. I don't know what they're for. They're probably oh, they're to they're for the clips on the so yeah, they're for the clips on the cover to go into. So I'm I'm being very careful because I don't want to break anything. 
my goal here is to make it make sure it's okay you know clean it make sure there's no water in it and uh, I see that corner if I find a spot that's kind of already wanting to separate then there we go now there, I will put my screwdriver. I don't, yeah, but you got to be careful. I see that it, it comes open right there real easy. But not up a little further there. And it's not straight all the way down either. Yeah. Oof. That is very narrow in there. Nothing. <laughs> I said I don't want to break that. I don't want to break nothing. Oh, those buttons. Got to get that up and over those buttons. So probably I should start on this side. Then it'll just come right off the buttons. My thumbnails, I used to just use my thumbnails for all those kind of things, but they're not... And this screwdriver is not, well, I don't really want a sharp one, but I, <clears throat> that's why I didn't grab. I've got another one that's smaller, but it's a little bit, yeah, so I think it's too sharp. I don't want to, well, you don't want to short anything out for one thing. I was trying to think, do I have anything plastic I could do that with, but I can't think of a thing. There's, we used, we call them spudgers, um, but I've. Oh, yeah, I've got this thing, but it's got a big, this, the end of it's pretty big. So I don't think it would be of much use. Yeah, it keeps wanting to just go off in that end there. What about down here? That one's still loose, but I'm not going to try to force those up and over those buttons if I can get it to come loose on this end first. It's probably going to be something like that no matter which way you go, but... Turn it this way. Maybe I can get to that corner. Like I did with the other one. This is a just smaller enough screwdriver. It might do it. I'm being really with light touched on it too. That one corner was wanting to open. I guess because it had such a narrow end to it. Well, let me go back to where I was because at least I was getting some progress going there. So if I put this screwdriver in there to kind of... Yeah, it's kind of there. Maybe if I go this way. <clears throat> Why didn't I think of that? There's no battery on it, but that doesn't mean there's not still some power in the capacitors in this thing that could uh, damage it. So I don't not want to slide it up in there or anything. I can see a circuit circuit board there. It's a little bit smaller one. I just don't want anything that can go too far up in there, really. There. There's little snaps every so every so far get the one that's not quite so pointy now now I'll go down that battery area that's pretty small again I'm really using the camera to do to see this
I really had no idea I was going to end up be wanting to take this apart. I don't know why what I was thinking, really, but. <clears throat> As a kid, I took everything apart because I was curious, but now I've learned that you generally will break things like this. <laughs> At least I only paid $15 for these things, but even though I did, I want them to last as long as they can, you know. You can't, uh, well, they don't sell them for $15 anymore. About 25 is about as low as I've seen them, so. Two, so. And the funny thing is, is just, these are quad cores with a gig of RAM. You're hard-pressed to find anything in a low price range <laughs> anywhere near that good of a hardware. It's just that they only had, I think, four gig of onboard memory, and that's why they didn't sell, because the people would, every only complaint you saw hardly ever was, uh, it filled up too quick and they only had three stars and I thought well why did they have, I only have three stars so I kept comparing you know all over I got them at Walmart but I compared all over the interwebs don't go too far up in there it scared me I thought I broke it Getting to lift up more and more. Yeah, the camera's staying attached to that. So there's bound to be some sort of maybe a ribbon cable. I was, I was going to say when I'm, well, a lot of things whenever you <clears throat> take them apart, when they're made like that, you know, with some components stay on one side and some on the other, there usually is a ribbon cable somewhere. So there we go. Now it's going past the button. There's still one more thing hanging on. There's not more screws that I missed, is there? What's that? Oh, that's the sensor for the camera. Oh, that's the light. That's the flashlight. <clears throat> you see, it's fairly well loose. Actually, I think that cover is pretty much loose, so I think there may be another trick to getting it separated <clears throat> something around these buttons is still kind of are, are these either the buttons area <clears throat> or the uh, these connectors for the I think there's Now that one's staying, okay. Oh. They may have a snap right up under here. See that that stays down, the part with the sticker on it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was it was another snap right in that area, but oh, it's uh, I think it snapped. Yeah, it snapped back on on this side somehow during all that finagling around. <clears throat> there. See how thin that is. Too easy to break. And it is bowed a little bit. But it'll be fine. I mean, you know, expect that. Oh. So, <clears throat> yeah, part of the metal for that, uh, it's, just, it's really not a contact area. It's just maybe some support. And that's the lens for the flashlight, and that's the... Oh, there's a lens there, too, for the camera, I think. 
Yeah, I figured that out a long time ago. That's a protect. I don't know if that's an extra. Yeah, that's an extra protective lens, a plastic one. <clears throat> and uh, it's not really a lens. It's just a protective cover. Because there is the, oh, it is the lens. No, I think it's down in there. It's fixed focus, so it can be, yeah, there's a lens down in there. So there's the inside of it, and it still is not a part yet. <laughs> um, it's, it feels like it was, what's that? Ah, ribbon cable that has come unplugged for just all by itself for me doing that. I might have got pulled... Yeah, I think the cover, when it came loose, it pulled it loose. See there? Like a big connector. I'm going to leave it loose for right now because I don't know if I want to... Uh, I don't know if I want to take it apart any further than that or not. I mean, <clears throat> well, if you really want to try to dry it out, you probably should. I just... I, I'm a little bit more worried about messing it up now than ever. Let's see if there's any more screws in it or anything. Yeah, it's really interesting. I've never seen, in, uh, you know, how to phone a part in my own hands. I've seen a few pictures and videos. There are so many components on these things. <clears throat> Here's the board number. Part of it's covered up by that sticker. Charging USB. And I can't name off all the components. I'm not like Dave, Dave Jones. <coughs> I watch his videos all the time to learn. <coughs> you know, I guess I don't know if he takes apart phones. I don't remember ever seeing him do it. That's a. That's funny. You wouldn't expect to see that in there. So I wonder if you took a scan of that, what you'd come up with. Look, it says reject, but it's R E J C thirty <laughs> two. Yeah, this is a pretty. You know, it's okay, a little close up camera, but it's not. Anything super duper. So you can only get, there you go. You can get like two inches from it. That's any closer and it just starts getting blurry. Yeah, I, I'd have to turn on. I could try. I'm curious about that, but, well, there's one there too. I just, I don't know that it'd be worth messing with trying to scan that. But I, I got an app on my phone. You can scan it and it'll take you to whatever, you know, is in there. <clears throat> But uh, probably just take you to a manufacturer website. Yeah, so the screen, now see if you broke the screen, you'd have to do all this and then still get past this to get in there to that screen. That was the only other thing I remember now. People said they broke the screen because they're plastic and they're not tough enough. And of course, and I thought, why are they complaining so much on such a cheap phone? And then I realized, well, they were 150 bucks when they were brand new. <laughs> So, no, of course, a lot of those reviews were from back then. But uh, you do, I have, I've gone around and around with them because I always tend to fill every, I, I love applications and software, so I tend to fill everything up, computer, whatever, you know. So I filled these up and had to delete things and it's over and over, really. <laughs> and I just went through trying to figure out why. I finally figured out Chrome was filling one of these up. And it had got up to a gig. It was phone two, whichever one this one is. I don't remember now. This is phone one. <clears throat> but the other two didn't weren't filling up like that. This one. It would fill up to the point you couldn't use it and you had to delete something before you an app before you could use it again. Well, I'd finally realized uh Chrome was it, but not only on that one. So I think what I figured out is it was the settings. I had it syncing all of my bookmarks and add ons and everything, which you know, we're all from desktop Chrome, you know, and it filled it up. So I uninstalled it, 
And then I went back and I thought, well, I'm going to install on all of them. And I couldn't, I couldn't find a way to uninstall it again. I don't know what the heck happened there. But I finally did figure out that the other one, one of the other ones anyway, uh, was only two uh, uh, 200 megabytes. Yeah. Not a gigabyte. You know. Well, 200 megabytes ain't small, but definitely way different than a gigabyte. So. And then uh, on the phone that I uninstalled it on, it did something really strange. It said, uh, ah, I don't know. I, or I think it was on the other phone, the one that had 200 megabytes. It said, when I turned on the phone to do it that day, it said, uh, to try to uninstall it, it said, do you want to pop up the Chrome sync screen and, and you know, property, is, you know, setting screen? It said, do you want to sync your bookmarks and blah, 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 blah. And I said, no, no, no. And and then it's, so far I, I haven't checked it again in a week or so, but it hasn't been filling the thing up, you know. So I think it was that. Okay, so telling story time should be over now. <clears throat> um, just need to figure out what I'm going to do here. Am I going to take this out some more? Or am I? It may be snapped in. Yeah, it's not loose. And this is the circuit board, so I really don't want to stick a screwdriver under there. There's no telling what I would short out. And like I said, there's now the batteries out, but there could be caps that are capacitors that are uh, charged. And there, there's going to be a lot of them. They're those little, like all these little surface mount things. Uh, you know, they could be. I don't know what they are. They could be, well, that's actually not a surface. That's a connector. See, that's how poorly I see even <laughs> now I see it. I thought those were surface mount. Now, see those little bitty ones? Those are surface mount components. Those are actually connectors. Or uh, why is there connectors there? See, the, the charging is there. That's connectors. Huh, they go to the, they go to that. Oh, the sensor. It's one of the sensors. No? Huh. I don't know, but there's three spring loaded connectors, but they all go to that 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 solid metal piece. And then there's I don't know what that's for. I'm, I never don't remember seeing anything telling you what that is. It's like cloth or something. I do not know. And I did really pour through the manual, especially when I first got it, you know. But uh, those. Four, three connectors. Now, there's a surface mount, a bigger surface mount component right next to it, and then over up in there, oh, I can't even point. I don't want to short anything out, but there's right in there, there's some more than there. What's that? That's pretty big, whatever it is. It's got a number on it. B490A. I don't know. That's pretty big as for something in a phone. Yeah, I don't know uh, these things, so I can't really try to identify anything. I think the USB uh, connector is either snapped in. I don't think it'd be screwed in from the other side. I think the, uh, I mean, unless I've missed some more screws somewhere, I don't think there's anything else holding it besides snap, you know, that it's snapped in. But I definitely don't want to break it either. I may. Well, I don't know what that cleaner might do to the screen, though. Uh, you know, if I spray it down with cleaner, um, then that's going to go in there. And, and, you know, it's going to work it's just like water, even more so maybe because it's really thin, you know. Uh, it seems to me that it's thinner than water, but I don't know, viscosity-wise, you know, I guess you could say, That's, but, uh, 
right there. It's hard to get. Yeah, see, that'll move. That, uh, that board has it's just, it's got a, th what is that? Is that metal? Whatever's lying in the battery tray there is, uh, that's a wire. That may be the antenna, part of the antenna. Yeah, that's a wire going from that top section of the board to the bottom section. There's a connector on each end. See, that's the, like I said, I can't see good enough to tell what anything is. So, you know, it's like a bear pawing at a, <laughs> I don't know how to pawn at something. A bear pawn out of jaw, honey, that's glue, got the lid glue shut. <laughs> but, um, that right there, I was thinking might be the thing that's not letting the board want to come up, but really it's tighter. That's actually moving okay. The USB connector, the charging port there. Right between it and the corner, there seems to be something holding it. This one, this end, can really try much. Yeah, it's the same, kind of the same way. Oh, where the screws go through, it looks like those are studs, sort of. Well, how else would you describe them? Well, the screws go into those, and the board is slid over it. Yep, but it's snapped in. I mean, this tray for the battery is connected, but it seems like it's the weakest point. Oh, this whole area is the weakest point and where you could break it. I haven't checked my stream in a while. Well, I'm live. Go ahead and start my preview and make sure everything's okay there. <sighs> yeah, I was really thinking that I would like to spray it down with that cleaner, but now I don't know. I just don't know... I have an idea that the plastic in that screen, all the different... I've seen them take the big ones apart and even fix them like Dave and other people. And uh, LCD screens, you know. The, uh, well, I'm talking about... Of course, the ones I'm talking about are the bigger ones. The, uh, you know, with LED backlights and all that. <clears throat> uh, but these are similar, I think. And I know they have uh, layers of plastic. Different types to you know some are more clear some are more matte finish you might say and they reflect the light in the right way you know and uh, so get all that cleaner in there heck I might melt it and stick it together and just completely destroy it so I'm starting to think that my cleaner could be more uh, dangerous for it than water I mean it's not showing any water in it you know moisture or anything it was and I would might as well go for broke I guess but it's not I haven't turned it back on since I turned it off but I did see water in the battery tray now see that that'll move but it's uh, that's a ribbon cable and it's plugged in right there okay so it's wrapped around from the back side and plugged in there so you could get Oh, is that another one? That might be one that would fold up like this one did. That one has a whole metal tab. It probably goes to the camera. <clears throat> but, yeah, there's one. Yep. I finally see that. Yep. Okay. 
This one, though, is a little bit more tricky. It looks like it slides in sideways. Unless it, that plastic lifts up, but I think that's the connect. Oh, it does. <laughs> I was just thinking that it was a connector. Okay. Well, they're not wet, at least. So that's what you'd have to do. You'd have to get all those loose. See, that would slide through the board when, as long as you're careful there. And uh, Speaking of surface mount components, there's plenty there. Mostly you see the connectors for things on this side, though. This is kind of seems like it's more the back side of the board. And there's the uh, audio jack, audio connector. Yeah, they yeah, I mean no, these these connectors, of course they they are in electronics, they're all like copper and brass and stuff like that. I think these are all copper, but uh, you know, they're not real uh things that would rust, you know, oxidize real quick, real easily, so otherwise they wouldn't last. they wouldn't make connection for a month or two, you know, <clears throat> after they were new. But um so if getting them wet, uh as long as you get it dried out reasonably well then it probably will be all fine you know camera would not be well none of it would be good to be wet but you just don't want any of that water inside of anything like the camera or the uh, you know I can't think really of well the, inside the screen no the camera and the screen is the two main things I I can think of, not knowing what else. Well, what else is under there? Mostly, it's just going to be a board with lots of surface mount components, though. Yeah, even though I'm beginning to f figure a little bit more out about how you might get it apart, I'm really talking myself out of taking it apart. I don't see me doing it without perhaps breaking something. And if you break something, then you break it, you know. I think if you kept working at it, you get that in loose. There's something good size in there. Well, it's raising up. When you do it with your fingernail, you can tell how much force you're putting on it. Better than with a screwdriver or something. But right in there, not sure what, uh, that's not anything you can get a hold of there. Right in there, I'm not sure about Oh, you probably got to unclip that tray from in there or something. It may come out of there separately. It looks, I thought it was just tape on. See, that's it looks to me like there's a metal under it, and I think it's just like a sticker on the metal. But it's really thin along there, plus there's that wire. But yeah, I'm not, now that I got to thinking about that, screen I'm not going to spray my cleaner in there I think that would be what would kill it kill that screen that ends coming up now and I you know I didn't really try real hard I just kept kind of working my finger around it fingernail but and flexing it that much to get it out of there might mess up my so, you know solders if it flexes that much that board flexing that much that's loose. That moves. 
oh, there's something on there that turns. Wow. Is that? I wonder if that's some of the Let me see what go what touches that. Oh, okay. This is the side that touches the three connectors. I thought that didn't make sense having this touch those connect three separate connectors. Three or four, three. Yeah, there's that's that's a surface mount part down there. So those three connectors touch that, and uh, <clears throat> but that little part there. Yeah, it's got a cavity for it. So that thing can move back and forth. I wonder if that's like something to do with the sensing. You know how they can sense which direction they are and all that. I thought it was a completely electronic part. But this is a physically moving part. It makes me think of a... Well, a mercury switch doesn't have something that spins back, spins on it. I don't can't imagine. That's the vibrating motor. That's what that is. Spin all the way around. Yep. And that's a counterweight. It's a tiny little counterweight to make it vibrate. Yep. But you, that's what it is. Because that's what that looks like is a motor. Yep. Yeah. I, I thought <laughs> they sure did have a hefty vibration to them, you know, when they vibrate. That's the vibrating motor. Okay. Pretty sure that's what that is. So, I think I've had my fun. I'm actually getting very, very hungry now. And I'm not going to risk taking it apart. What I'll do is snap all this junk back together. And I think, let's see. I was going to say I'll turn it that way and put it on a paper towel and let it set to make sure if there's anything in there it can drain out. I'm going to do that. But on the other hand, you know, you might want it like that so that it can evaporate too. It's gonna evaporate. Yeah, it it would probably if it did get if the screen was actually wet and showed signs of water being in there, then I don't know. <laughs> you'd maybe put under a, a a light bulb or something and warm it up for a while. But all I can think of. Let me see if I can get these back on. They're so little. I may be sorry I took them loose. See, there's one. There, got that one. I heard it snap. That one went in place. They're pretty good about going into their place. There we go. That one. Yeah, that one got took loose when I took the cover off. Comes off pretty easy, though. So that one's in place. Some of them have metal. I, get, I think they need that. I think that's part of their function, part of the ground. Some of them have metal. Like that one has plastic. It's like insulated. And then but this one has got, well, that's a circuit board. And then this one has got a big metal, like it's stainless. This all looks like stainless in here. Stainless, um, stainless steel. <clears throat> so, um, go around it over and over again and make sure I got all this. Yeah, I think those probably the reason they're stainless is they need to ground to the other side here. Let's see. There's two, two connectors there, but they go over here on this side. Yeah, to those. Three. There's three deals there. Oh, okay. There's actually three. That's, uh, I think that's the volume. Maybe. You gotta be careful you don't let those things get out of, out of the, their spots. And you put it back together. But, uh, Yeah, I'm not gonna score it. I want I want to because I'm 
I mean, as far as the circuit board and all that, that would be, I think that would be good. It wouldn't be harmful. It would be actually be helpful. But you can't squirt this thing without that stuff going all inside, under here. It's going to go all the way to the bottom, and then it's going to be in between the layers of that display screen. And I think that would be, uh, it's going to go in there. That's what that stuff is made to do, penetrate, you know, and cl and. I, I'm scared of it now. <clears throat> if I knew that it wouldn't hurt that screen, then I would do it. But that right there, what? Okay, there's two. There should be three contacts. It almost looks like it's corroded. That's why I keep looking at it. It goes this way. See, there's three... Where are they? Three contacts right there. And if it's corroded, it's not from today. <laughs> It'd be from, it's already got that way, you know. I think it's uh, probably not. It's probably just whatever. Kind of material is on it. Yeah, if you had, to, if it is was corroded and your buttons weren't working right, then you'd know that's why. Oh, there's no button coming out right there. I really can't tell for sure. But to see there's three contacts there. Now that side I could spray. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a lot of benefit in doing it. A couple, just a few contacts and stuff. But... Uh, well, there is, yeah, now that could be a problem. You, you might fog up that, that stuff could uh, etch that lens, for the, the protective lens for the camera and fog it up. It's like when you spray the wrong chemicals on your taillights. My neighbor did that. Well, that thing sure is scratched up and crappy looking. Shocked that it makes a good, <laughs> shocked that it makes a good uh, video or, or camera shot. If there's a way to show that or not. <clears throat> I'm using the magnifying glass along with the magnifying camera right now. But when I was looking at it, you know. Um, see if it makes any difference to get rid of the paper towel I don't guess you can really tell it actually looks like the paper towel is still under there but it's not it's just a light reflecting oh you know what I was seeing was probably the dirt and stuff on the magnifying glass. I just realized it now that I'm moving it. <laughs> yeah, because my if it was that scratched up, my I'm trying to be really careful with them and not scratch them because I knew they're plastic. Um, if they're that scratched up, I don't carry it around in my pocket. You know, I mean, I have at times, but generally they don't. They stay on, two of them stays on the tripod, and the other one stays in the little bag for it's the wireless mic you know this is one of the ones that stays on the tripod so <clears throat> I 
Now, there's the, the camera lens itself in the center of that camera there. Well, I did have water in my battery tray, and and this these, well, my SD card was I think it was damp in that area when I took it out, but it wasn't really damp there. But uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's beyond my. Uh, manual dexterity and, and eyesight to get this thing apart and get it back together even with this helping magnifying camera here so I'm gonna put it back together leave it open for a while though and let I'll just turn it like that just in case there's you know anything that wants to drain out of it it'll just pepper towel and soak it up <coughs> let's see where's that connector that I was looking at kind of forgot about it there I looked at it and was concerned about it and then I forgot Oh, it wasn't in his, it wasn't in there, it was in the, it was in here, on this side, still haven't quite figured out what's going on with that, it, it really looks as though it's corroded, but I just can't, well, nothing else looks corroded, so I don't see why that would, let me get it closer to myself there. Huh. It is hard to tell. If it was corroded, you should be able to scratch something off of it, but I'm not showing what I'm doing there. Just putting my fingernail in there and just scratching on it. it doesn't affect it in the least bit. But see, the other two are real shiny copper, you know. I was trying to figure out what they might correspond to. Let's see. Okay, so it's not on the side of the... That's the uh, volume up and down. Just one, two, three connectors there. I mean, three... Well, yeah, connectors. They're spring-loaded connectors meant to connect to that to those three <laughs> but there's no uh, see there's no buttons or anything on that that part near that right there see that's right up in the edge doesn't have buttons there I'm kind of puzzled as to what that's supposed to be. See, so you got this. Okay, and then the power button's up there. And let's see what other buttons are there. I guess that's really it for buttons is the, oh yeah, what's that? Well, that's just a connector. I thought that was another white button, but it looked white in a certain light, but it's actually silver. Yeah, as much as I, I don't want to leave, I want to put it back together because I'm afraid I'm going to break something, but I think I'm going to leave it all open like that overnight. Or, you know, as I, or I'm up overnight as I sleep today and uh, then put it back together tomorrow night. 
then maybe it'll have a chance to uh, really dry out good. I think I will. T yeah, I'm going to turn it like that. Turn them both like that because that actually makes it more, you know, if I lay it. Well, I guess with this one, it doesn't really matter. Except for it's bowed so that it seems to want to spring. That seems more protected to me. <laughs> I didn't like that. And that's just the camera lens protective cover. So, yeah. That's what I'll do. And then, yeah, so here's the actual button itself right there. And it, and it just uh, pushes, well, that's the actual button. This is the exterior button I don't know what to say and there's one you know that lives in the case one for the power too like that and uh, in the cover back cover so yeah I'm not going to even try to turn that on until tomorrow I'm going to try to find a place to set it that's safe <clears throat> and uh Yeah, I think I can uh, actually fold this in half, and it'll be taking up a lot less room in the world. I don't have lots of room in here. And then I can set them somewhere. <coughs> so, well, there you go. If you wanted to see inside of a... Oh, i got screws to do something with. If you wanted to see inside of... Alcatel A845L phone. There it is. Of course, a lot of them are going to be similar, at least a lot of the Alcatel. Oh, they're not here. I've got some. Oh, that's a bracket. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah, it's two, a screw and a bracket off of uh, that Smiley Gateway. Oh, those are wire nuts. I kept them in something like that because, oh, yeah, because they kind of seemed like they needed to stay together if I was ever going to. But but that's my little temporary. I use it for temporary screws, not permanent storage. So that's what I've been doing. What have I got down there? Do I have another one? I wonder if it has stuff in it, too. Yeah, it's got something in it. Oh, jumpers. Jumpers for hard drives and stuff. Okay. I need to get back to... Some, whoops. Something we can tell a little bit more about what's going on here. Okay, so uh, I do have a few little plastic bags that I like to put special screws in. There's a couple of those in there that I don't know what they are anymore. Looks to be like a regular screw, and it's some kind of... I don't have any more of those little bitty bags, though. That little bitty one is a special screw. I don't know what it was for now. <laughs> it's been too long since I put it in there. At the time I put it in there, I knew what it was for. Probably, the, and same thing with that one. That one doesn't look special to me. I don't know why it's in there. There's one I wrapped up in tape. And then I, and I labeled it. Oh, it needs the threads cleaned. <laughs> I guess I thought it was... Yeah, it's different enough. I thought it was worth doing that too. Let's see. Oh, I can. I think this can thread in there. Whoops. I may have to get a screwdriver that's magnetic. I'm too too fumbly to do it. There we go. Yeah, that'll hold that together. Just doing this with it. That's what I was wanting is to make sure I didn't lose the screw that went with that. There. Now it doesn't need a bag. Okay. I don't know why. I guess I didn't do that because I kept thinking I was going to put it back in there. Now it can stay in there. Now, if I forget what it goes to, that's not the biggest thing in the world. Now this, 
is just all those little bitty screws that I don't got any more of. So those I have to take care of. Put my phone back together with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. It looks like all of my screws that I had. Let's count, see if we can count how many there's supposed to be. If I can see, let's see. One, two, three, four. I, I think I remember five, six, seven. Yep, that's it. Okay. Yep, because I remember the odd number down at the other end. <clears throat> All right. Now, what's that? Why nuts? Why nuts? Well, this is my in-the-house toolbox, so it's got computer stuff and household-type stuff in there. So I'm going to put these tools away, put that somewhere, somehow. Should be airing out, drying out, evaporating any more moisture that might be in it. <clears throat> of course, the battery is all nice and protected. And they didn't, you know, it didn't stay wet long enough to corrode it or anything. So I don't think there'll be a problem really with that. See, screws. Screws. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I thought I might spray it with my contact cleaner and then let it dry a little. Yeah, that stuff dries up pretty quick, and it'll, it dissipates water. And then I have it put it back together tonight. But I'm not thinking that I want to risk spraying that all up in there and getting it. In, in between the membranes on this this uh, display. Now, if it don't work tomorrow, or acts weird and won't work right, I'll try it. You know, now I'll, I'll try to read up on it and see first, because I could still try and get the get the board out of there, separate it from the display, and then only spray the board. You know, but uh, okay. So I'm gonna go and get me some gonna be my supper i've already had my lunch it is four and i got up at when did i get up five in the evening or something yeah something around there four, four between four and five i think I'm, well there's this was enough for tonight i'm well i cleaned those uh oh i'm gonna do with those yeah dropping them again my cards put them in this cover Um, when I first got up, as soon as I ate my breakfast, I, made my, I drug myself out there outside and, and clean the, clean, what did I do? Did whatever I did that, had, that gave me all my trouble with my cameras. Oh, I was doing a, a soap bubble test on the, on the coils on the air, con outside unit of the air conditioner. And, uh, so I wore myself out hovering over that, trying to do that and make a video at the same time. <clears throat> I was I, I had I really had to rest for a couple of hours before I started or it's actually probably three or four hours before I really got back to doing video after doing that. So anyway, yeah, that gun. My uh my day is basically over really. My my nighttime day, my night shift. Uh, so I guess I'll eat my supper and then I won't worry about. I had all these things since I was feel, finally I've been. I bet you three days or a week I've even lost track now. I bet it's more like since I've, you know, I guess I could look on my videos and see when the last one I made, but <coughs> um, that I haven't been feeling well enough to do anything. Not even, I didn't even, uh, couldn't think straight, didn't feel good. I didn't even, I've still got like eight or ten videos to rename and all that stuff because I got really behind on doing that because I kept thinking, want to get the work done, you know. It takes a lot of time renamed just for going through them and renaming them and 
you know, putting in the description what's in them, you know, and all that. Okay, so um, anyway, this one's going to be long. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, let's see, I can see the, oh, I think the timer is finally right on my laptop. I guess I finally got the time set on the laptop right. I finally figured out it was an hour. The time, you know, like the time it was displaying, it, it wasn't, it was off. It wasn't, didn't change automatically with daylight saving times like all my other computers do. And um, I set it manually. And I thought maybe the timer on the YouTube, you know, live we might be okay after that because it was a, it would start at negative one hour, and then once it got to an hour, then it would start counting forward. It was really weird. But I'm looking at the display live. You know, the, my OBS studio is accurate, and it says uh, live two hours and eight minutes and uh, record two hours and eight minutes. And then over there on my lapse time is what it says on the YouTube interface. This is two hours and eight minutes. So it's finally right. That was so aggravating. So it was the time on my laptop for some reason into bane 8 had not set itself and i couldn't see anything to like turn that on and off either but it set itself automatically it seemed like it would I, I, I just took it for granted uh, fedora always you know always has and i just took it for granted they all do that unless you turn it off or something so anyway um there we go glad i had i, I debated about setting this table up like this and you know because it makes it harder to get to the keyboard. And I actually figured out that if I do it just right, I can open my keyboard tray. I have to, this table will lean sideways, and so that makes one side higher than the other. So I finally realized if I get it really straight, that keyboard will, tray will just come over it. And so then I can actually use the keyboard when I need to, you know. So now if I can remember that, I'll know that it's not such a big deal because that was one of the main reasons why I didn't like bringing this table over here. Well, that and it hurts my back and neck. To, well, and I remember to set this chair so I'm not fighting it, uh, lock it in place, sitting straight up, which I can't stand <laughs> normally. But see, I, the phone, that I, well, I'm using the phone that I normally use for audio, wireless audio. I'm using it as my, main, my only video camera other than the Indoscope. So, because uh, I had two of them messed up. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm tired. I'm just rambling again. I always do that. I, wanna, I should be going. I'll sit there and start rambling. And, uh, so, I'm going to go. And, uh, well, if you ever want to see inside of, of an Alcatel 845L phone, there it is. Uh, at least half of it. The other half is still hidden, but... I'm not going to risk breaking it if I if it were if it I'll let it air out and kind of give it a chance to dry out overnight and then if put it you know plug it put it back finish putting it back together put the cover back on it battery it up and put the battery in it and <clears throat> if it works okay then I won't worry about it because you know they get pretty warm while they're being when they're running that should finish drying it out <laughs> but no I'm gonna wait till it has a chance to dry though before I. Do, do try it by running it <laughs> okay uh, see you next time bye bye